In this video, I'll show you how to use the scanner of your Canon PIXMA MJ2525 or 2522. I'll actually show you two ways. One is to simply scan something and print it on a sheet of paper without any computer or anything else. And I will also show you how to scan using a Windows computer in case you want to save the file to send it by emails or just to keep it in your folders. So let's get started with the easiest of these options. Open the scan lid. Take a document you want to scan. In my case, it's uh, this thing. And you're going to align it. I don't know if you see over here, but there is an arrow. This arrow means that you need to align the corner of your document to this corner. So take the document. This is what I want to scan. So I'll be facing down and then push it to this corner where the arrow is. Make sure it's aligned there. Perfect. Next step is to close the scan lid. Make sure you have inserted some paper in the paper tray and also make sure that this tray over here is extended because this is where the scan will go. On the left side where all the buttons are located, you're going to notice there is a black and there is also a color button. If you press on this black button, it will mean that the scan and the copy will be in black and white. Color, obviously, it will make everything in color. I'll demonstrate with the black in case you want to do the black and white scan and copy. So I'll press on it once. It will now scan. It will take the paper and it will come out here with the scan. Now let's see how to do it using a Windows computer. In the box, they give you this CD that has the driver that makes this printer works with your computer. But since many computers like mine don't have any CD drivers, CD players, well, we'll have to get the driver from the Canon website. So I'll show you how. So the first step, you need to go on usa.canon.com. Okay, once you're on this site, you need to go in support. Then you need to start typing here the product name. So in our case is the Canon MJ. In my case, it's 2525. In yours, it may be 2522. Just enter your model name here and you should see it appearing in this list. I'll press on mine. Then from here, you're going to go down until you see software and driver, click on it. Here, make sure that Windows is selected. If not, just click on it. Just click and you'll have a list and you should select Windows. Make sure that your version of Windows is the correct one. In my case, it is. It's Windows 10, but it works with 11, 8 and even older ones like Vista 7. And then you just have to scroll down until you see driver over here for Windows and click on the download button. Once it's downloaded, open the file. If English is not your first language and you prefer doing it in your own language, you just click here and you can change this. If not, click next then select in which um, region you're located. Click yes. Now we have to wait a bit. On this step, you'll need to take the USB cable that came with your printer and connect it to the computer. So I'll put this end 
in the USB port of my computer like this and the other end the printer on the back should have right over here on the right side a port you see it yep this is the USB port so you're gonna take your cable you're gonna align it and you're gonna make sure it's connected and now it worked and the installation is now completed okay so I'll press the complete button here and the driver is installed on your PC Windows computer now I'm gonna go in the start button here then settings then you're gonna go in devices printer printers and scanners and you should see the printer over here MJ2500 series Just click on it you can click on manage if you click over here the first drop down menu you can access the scanner function so you'll be able to scan using your Windows computer so let me just show you how it works quickly so I'll select it and I will click on open scanner if you don't see this it will ask you to download the scanner app from the Windows Store do it it's really worth it this way you'll be able to use the scanner very quickly so I'll open scanner and now let's put a sheet of paper here on the scanner just to demonstrate okay let's say I want to scan this uh, small sheet of paper I'll open the scanner like this I'll put the page facing down the part that I want to scan and I will align it with this arrow over here so I'll push the paper until it touches this corner like this then I can close the scan lid and over here you'll have many options tap on show more okay so you can choose what type of file you want to uh, make with this scan it could be a JPEG also PDF these are my favorites let's say JPEG you can say if you want it in color or not and resolution which is very important because tap on it if you're scanning a picture you want the highest number so it has the more details 600 but if it's just a, a text sheet of paper 300 is plenty so just keep it at 300 and finally here it will ask you where do you want the file to be saved by default is desktop click on it you can choose any other folder that is uh, on your computer if you prefer that I'll keep it on the desktop select folder and now you can tap on preview which will not save the scan it will just give you a preview so you can rearrange it or change some settings if you're not satisfied or you can press scan and this will save the scan let me press on it usually it takes just a few seconds if you choose resolution DPA 600 it will take even a minute or more to do the scan since it's uh, scanning a lot of details but for 300 usually it's about 20 seconds 30 seconds here we go when you're done you're gonna see he, over here scan was saved to desktop you can tap to view it you can also just go on the desktop itself to view it but we'll press here and it will open and perfect this is exactly what we just scanned it looks perfect let me zoom in everything is very visible you see at 300 300 dpi is plenty for just text i hope this video demonstrating how to scan is useful if so please leave a like subscribe to this channel leave also a comment if if you have some time and check the links in the description Thanks again and I will see you in the next one.